Even in an empty arena, there's always someone or something watching. Cameras like this one are in most, if not all, of the rinks in Saskatoon. You also find them in other local rinks across Canada and the United States. You know, right from the start, uh, when you have a couple kids in hockey and you, you end up in not just different rinks, but different cities all the time, uh, just from the family dynamic, it's, it's been an absolute game changer. And league officials say that's how it was meant to work. It's now evolved, you know, to, to the discipline side of the game. Kelly McClintock says some weeks Hockey Saskatchewan gets up to 20 submissions. Those submissions include complaints about safety, penalties, and the severity of suspensions. Some have ensured the right call was made. Well, I think it just confirms who the individual was, what they did, you know, because in the past it would be one person's, you know, word against another or, you know, somebody always wants to maybe question what the official's uh, report was. And some have circulated around the local hockey community. It's also led to more accountability for coaches. While Sven Bjornsson says he's in favour of it, some coaches have been reprimanded for being too aggressive with their players even during practices. Let's make sure this isn't a positive matter because there's a grandma and a grandpa watching somewhere, there's a mom watching or a dad watching somewhere. And you know, it, uh, it doesn't, take, uh, doesn't take much to rub a, a parent or a grandparent the wrong way when you speak to their child. Streaming has also given amateur players a video aspect of their training. And while the quality isn't up to more elite standards, it can be useful. Just teaching kids, it's a lot of visual learners out there and you can draw it up on a whiteboard, but when they actually can see what they're doing right or doing wrong, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been a great tool that way. One hockey coach CBC spoke with questioned if the cameras could be a privacy issue. Saskatchewan's Information and Privacy Commissioner says it could be, but it's unclear if it's a privacy breach. McClintock says because it's in a public place, he doesn't see it as a privacy issue. Dane Patterson, CBC News, Saskatoon.